Okay, so take three. I heard a lot of you guys are struggling, so what we're gonna do is like really break this down. I'm gonna do yesterday's sheet. I'm gonna do numbers three. If you guys can see it, number three, um, number six, and number nine. We'll see if we'll do another one or not. But I'm gonna do both of them, drawing a picture and a table. All right, you can do all of these either way. I'm gonna show you how easy they are. So number three, you guys can see this here. A bag contains six yellow tickets numbered one to six. The bag also contains six green tickets num numbered one to six. You can only pick a ticket if it's green or has an even number. Note the directions say find the probability. So we're gonna find the probability. I'm gonna show you how we write this. The probability that it is green or even, right? So let's look at it. There are six yellow tickets, right? By the way, this is the picture method first. Um, numbered one to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, there are six green tickets. Right? Numbered one to six. We're randomly picking one ticket. Now, first of all, how many different pick tickets could we pick? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's gonna be something over twelve, right? And we're gonna circle real quick everything that would be okay to pick. Well, all of these greens would be okay, right? Because it has to be green or even. So that would be okay because it has an even number. This would be okay, it has an even number. And that would be okay because it has, it has an even number. So how many things did I circle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine over 12, which happens to reduce to three over four. Yay. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now, let's say I didn't like that. I wanted tables. If you're a table worker, right? I look at the thing. I look at the whole question. Bag contains six yellow tickets, number one to six. Bag contains six green tickets, number one to six. Pick a ticket. See if it can be green or an even number. So I'm looking for green. I read the question first, by the way. Eh, you don't have to do that, but sometimes at least. All right? And I want green or an even number. Can green things have even numbers on them? Yeah right green has nothing to do with what number it is so that means that even goes on the opposite side so this is the column working by the way that's going to be the total these are the rows so i'm going to put even there right not green is the other thing that would also be called yellow and not even which would also be called odd i'm going to go ahead and call those yellow Right? The bag contains six yellow tickets. Yellow tickets, there's a total of six. Um, numbered one to six. Well, how many of those are even? Two, four, and six. And then the other three are odd. Uh, bag also contains six green tickets. Green, total, six. Right? Numbered one to six. Three of them are even, three of them are odd. That means there's 12 total tickets. Six of them are odd, six of them are even. What I want is green or an even number. So green or an even number. Three, six, nine out of 12. Which is still three over four. That's it. Once you see what's happening here, there's not like, the math is not hard as long as you lay it out and organize it in some way. Either drawing pictures, literally drawing out every single problem, you can do that, or making a table. Those two things get rid of all of the actual math. 
All right, we're going to pray for no more hang-ups. Um, number six on the sheet, you can see here, there are 11 shirts in your closet, four blue and seven green. You may only select one to wear on Monday and then a different one on Tuesday. You wear a blue shirt on Monday and a green shirt on Tuesday. So we're finding the probability that you wear a blue shirt on Monday and a green shirt on Tuesday. Okay? We're finding the probability of that last sentence. So, 11 shirts in my closet. Um, I can't even draw shirts. I'm going to make them boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't even draw boxes. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Great. Four blue and seven green. There's four, right? I got rid of my blue green marker, so this isn't even a different color. Oh, it is. Maybe it's not. Right? You only select one to wear on Monday and then a different one on Tuesday. Right? So we're looking for the probability you wear a blue shirt on Monday. So probability blue shirt on Monday and then a green shirt on Tuesday so right now let's do in the picture right now what's probability that I'm going to grab a blue shirt well one two three four four blue out of eleven shirts right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and right now once I've done that I get rid of a blue shirt let's say it was that one he's now gone because I have it I'm wearing it it's dirty it's going to laundry today's Tuesday now let's probably have to grab a green shirt well there's one two three four five six seven green shirts out of how many shirts are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right Reduce, reuse, recycle, save the planet. Um, it's the same thing as two over five, so it's going to be what, 14 over 55, I believe is the final answer there. And that's it. All you have to do there. Um, tabling these are a little bit tricky. So. We have, all right, back again. I actually looked at it, and that table is going to be really ugly to make on these. Um, if it's an or situation, the table is going to be straightforward and fairly simple. When you're having to do, like, things in sequence, you do something, and then you do something after that, stick with the pictures because it's going to make, it's going to be really, really simple for you. It's going to be way nicer in every single way imaginable. We're looking at number nine. And you can see it. A bag contains five red marbles and seven blue marbles. You're going to pick a marble. It can't talk. Then pick a second marble without returning the marbles to the bag. The first marble is red and the second marble is blue. All right. So, five red marbles. Seven blue marbles. Alright, so we want the first marble to be red. So we're looking for the probability that we have a red marble and then a blue marble. Alright, when I first go to grab, I'm doing this one first. How many marbles are there? There's 12 marbles, right? 5 and 7 is 12. How many of them are red? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And, comma means multiply. I grab a red marble. It doesn't matter which one you grab, as long as it's actually red. Because you have to succeed in order to do both things, right? Now, how many marbles are there? There's 11. How many of them are blue? 3, 6, 7. 
And now nothing's going to reduce. That's great. Um, that's 35 over 132. All right. That's it. Pretty much, if you get stuck, draw a picture of the example. Draw every single thing out there and just do it one step at a time. Um, the back side of the sheet, I guess 5 through 10. Yeah, the, ba the back side, five, numbers 5 through 10 were all like, hey, draw a picture. The first four, you can draw a picture or make a table. Either one. Um, just today, work on that. If you get stuck anywhere, shoot me an email and I'll set up a spot for you to we'll talk about it. Bye.